Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Chingra, a proud fin trammer and your faculty for strategic business leader exam. Welcome. Welcome friends. Welcome to the technical article discussion that I wanted to have before you really sit for your exam in the coming coming attempt. Important is my friend that you should know all these recent technical articles that ACC has been issuing on their website you should be knowing this you should be going through that before you really sit for an exam and that is the intent my friend that is the reason i'm here to really take you through one of the technical articles that is just just in from the acc side yes my friend i'm talking about i'm talking about discussion on the technical article that is on the responsible leadership so responsible leadership Yes, my friend, sir. It looks like a fancy word, sir. Responsible leadership. I know, my friend, but I can tell you, uh, leadership itself means responsibility. Leadership itself means that you have to be responsible. But when, when it is being called as responsible leadership, it means a lot, my friend. It means a lot more to you to understand that the expectation from the regulators, from the industry. from the people at large from the leaders of today is really going up they really want you to demonstrate the responsible behavior in whatsoever you do and so on and so forth and of course there are various nuances that would get played around that and that is what we'll be covering today my friend that is what i really want to talk on in terms of getting you getting you up the curve so that you're aware in terms of you know what the examiner may expects out and what you should be handling at that point in time what i've done is that i have taken up the technical articles and of course i have really gone through that and of course taken up the right and important pointers for you and that is something we'll be discussing that in a while but what is important is that towards the end i really want to talk on some important pointers that you should be knowing because if you get to see a question on this in the exam how you should be handling that is something that you should be aware of and i have categorically discussed that so better see the video till the end my friend to in order to know in terms of you know what those things are so that you are 100% sure in terms of how to handle that in the exam is that clear yes sir but before really going there my friend what is that that you really have to do sir we have to subscribe sir we have to subscribe to the channel fintram global in order to keep getting these videos so that we can rock on sir we can rock on in the exam i'm loving you my friend i'm loving you for this that is absolutely true subscribe to our channel and i'm sure you would get all of these these educative videos as soon as possible is that clear yes sir should we move on yes sir all righty moving on to the to the responsible leadership technical article before we really jump in i really want to talk on in terms of you know what is the purpose of technical articles many of the folks who are doing or seeing the technical article for the first time they should know what the technical articles are as far as the acc is concerned and how and what you should be doing in relation to it number 1 technical article has a purpose my friend the way they are to be tested in the exam the examiner really wants you to understand that and of course go through that area in advance so what happens is that in the era or in the area where examiner wants to really put a stress on he really comes up with a technical article that would complement the syllabus area that you have already covered in this case you know if i really have to take you through in terms of you know what is the reason or what is the purpose of technical article i would say it elaborates the technical area in which students are performing badly in the exam if there is any area examiner will come back say that you know this is the area you are not doing good these are the things that you should be following effectively he is guiding you in terms of you know what you should be doing and so on and so forth yes sir then it gives you the extra information my friend extra information about the areas that are newer to the industry newer to the syllabus newer to the country newer to the economy newer to the globe at large that will give you an insight in terms of what all is happening so that you can really know that and of course think about it from the standpoint of how it can be questioned as far as the industry is concerned and then of course implement that and of course answer that in the best possible way it also you know one of the reason why examiner really pushes on and of course bring on the technical article is that they really want to give a specific focus on some specific topics and since they really want to give a specific focus they come across with a technical article that you really need to read through understand assimilate and of course digest and of course answer that in the exam all righty then what's next 
you have to have to know one thing very clearly my friend that is students should give equal attention to all the articles on the website in preparation of the specific exam and it is not only as well exam my friend all of the exams in acca have various technical articles you have to go through that to ensure that you're not missing on some important points as far as the strategic business leader is concerned we have included all the technical articles relevant for you in our syllabus area sessions we have ensured that we are not missing out on that and if there is any need to really compliment you with anything more my friend we have given uh, you know we have given additional sessions like this to help you in terms of knowing knowing what the technical article is so as to ensure that you are not missing out on that is that clear yes sir all righty should we go and start the technical article on on the responsibility ship yes sir all righty my friend let's go and deep dive on okay responsible leadership now this is the technical article my friend that has recently been issued by acca and we should be knowing that we have to demonstrate a behavior which is of a responsible leader on the floor in the question that you may get to see in the exam now if you really move forward in terms of you know what the content really says we have a we have a slide that talks on as to why why this technical article all right now this is to help the student my friend to understand who all are the stakeholders that are there in the question now you being the responsible leader of an organization one of the the agenda that you should be surely having in your mind in your heart is that you should know who all are your stakeholders whether direct whether indirect you have to understand all of your stakeholders so that you're taking them collectively you're taking all by your side you're not missing on them you're not missing on any of them please please ensure that all right frame a comprehensive view on the impact of the various stakeholders whatever decision you may take my friend whatever decision you may take you really need to know that how am i impacting my stakeholders whether it is a direct stakeholder or indirect stakeholder you have to understand the impact if you really call through the the stakeholder theory that we have done in our sessions that essentially talks on all these kind of things but it is important my friend that responsible responsible leader should know as to what impact he is making and who is getting impacted and how one should be really taking care in terms of all of those areas we have a you know example coming up in a while my friend and i've crafted that specifically for you so that you don't miss on that we'll talk on that in a while and then finally being responsible for all the decisions and they will you know you have to deliver the organizational performance acting sustainably now sustainability is the word my friend you should certainly not miss on we also have a technical article now on sustainability which we'll be covering that is again something very important my friend we will be covering this too but important is that you should know that you being the leader of an organization you have to have to behave in a sustainable sustainable way and of course innovating for the long term success we know that sir that's the basic sir we understand that important is my friend it should always get on to your mind whenever you're thinking about the leadership style or the leadership ways of doing things is that clear yes sir what should a candidate do let's talk on that candidates must ensure my friend that they understand the direct and the indirect stakeholders we talk on that sir you should focus my friend on the broader needs of the others rather than your public and personal interest important is my friend that you should not not only think about you or you should not only think about profits you should be thinking more broadly my friend in terms of you know how and what impact you're making out on to the others consider the societal and the moral implication of your decisions any decision that you're taking my friend you have to think through more morally i can tell you my friend very if i really go back in the past wherein when i used to give my exams the whole of the concentration was on the financial decisions whether it is good for you or whether it is not good for you is dependent on the fact that is it good from the cost benefit analysis or not are you making money on it or not is it is it really having a liquid cash for you or not and so on and so forth so all forms of cash or profit or profitability was considered to really make sure that you are taking the right decision at right point in time but gone is the time my friend that the leaders are only expected to really concentrate on profits on revenues gone is the time now you are being rated you are being ranked you are being considered how considerate you have been on the other areas too including things like society including things like 
um, I would say moral implications including things like sustainability and whatnot. You have to have that in your mind because examiner expects that from you. So if you get to see a question in the exam, do not really concentrate a hell lot, hell lot on profitability, revenues, cash and so on and so forth. Think about these, these moral implications also and answer things accordingly. If things are really, really profitable to you, but morally, socially, they are not advisable or they are not going the way they should, you should highlight that and of course get, I would say, be refrained from taking that decision because that would not go your way. That is not the demonstration of the ethical or responsible leadership. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, to ensure that decision making is based on the long term rather than it is satisfying only the immediate priorities at the, you know, and of course, costing a potential expense from the future, future success standpoint. Again, the same thing, my friend, you have to demonstrate no, no profitability kind of an approach. You have to demonstrate profitability. Also, the other factors, other factors can be social, environmental, sustainable and whatnot. Ensure that you are not missing on this bucket. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. Moving on, my friend, I do wanted to craft out an example for you just to make sure that you understand what exactly I'm saying, because many of these terms, many of these areas, you know, while it seems very hunky dory while you're, while you're hearing it and you're listening it, but you do not have the material component to be taken up and you know, at the back of your mind that, oh, if you do this, I'll be doing this. At times you miss on that. I wanted to bring this example on cards. All right, let's talk on that. Let's take an example, my friend. We have taken an example of a car manufacturer. Let's take Kia to be an example. Now, Kia is only the name, my friend, I'm using over here. You can use Suzuki, you can use my, you know, my favorite BMW, you can, use, you can use Audi and so on and so forth. I've taken Kia just, you know, just like that. All right. Now, let's say Kia is a company which is very good. Good. They're doing good, good cars. All right. Now, they're taking care of their staff in the best possible way. So everything that is happening for the staff is really good. They have a good people policy. They have good pay, pay scales and etc, etc. So effectively, the benefits are nice. Everything is good. So they're doing good as far as the people payout is concerned. Goods are no problem. Okay. The car quality that they're issuing, right? The, the so not issuing. The car quality that they're manufacturing is really good, right? They're giving the value for money. Of course, you know, I have seen the the some of the recent cars from Kia and I'm a fan of it in terms of you know the kind of things that they're giving in terms of price that they're charging it is really good so they're giving the value for money quality etc etc after sales service is also very nice no problem everything is good sir hunky dory my customers are happy all right tick in the box your employees are happy your customers are happy good all right now they're adhering to the local authorities very good they're doing what the authorities really says. They have the appropriate set, norm adherence, traffic management, anything and everything that is required. They are doing, my friend, they are not running away from that. So effectively, they are legally compliant in terms of, you know, what is required. They're doing their bet and they are really doing good there. Very good, sir. From the local authority also, there's a take in that. All right. Then they demonstrate the environmental sustainability also, my friend, because they are producing the hybrid vehicles, the electrical vehicles. So effectively, they are doing their bit in terms of, you know, protecting the environment. So effectively, they're doing all that what is expected from a car manufacturer as far as the, the ethics or the moral duty is concerned. Which is a situation very common, right? Right now in the industry, right? So what is the responsible responsible leadership case over there by and large if i whatsoever i've read over here and of course written over here i can say that they're responsible leaders of the market they're doing their bit and so on and so forth but technical article or the need of the hour is that you should go beyond my friend beyond of you know these areas beyond the pointers that i've mentioned you should see through in terms of what may go wrong are they really really there or that is something that is being missed. For example, on the face of it, companies acting in the interest of stakeholders and you know, while maintaining the healthy profit, a good example of stakeholder, stakeholder theory in action, everything is good as we spoke. However, while the organization may believe it is behaving responsibly, there is much more to consider, not least the stakeholders which cannot speak, such as environment and natural resources within it. Now, important piece over here is, and I really want to call out this as an example, important piece is that have they thought that the resources 
that they are using to prepare and manufacture their cars are they being acquired rightfully from the right people who are not destroying the environment is that being considered are they being taken up from the suppliers who are really taking care of their people who are such socially aware is that happening are they really hiring the labor from the contractors who are really duly taking care of their people is that happening or i am using a product in terms of manufacturing my car the product is really damaging the river damaging the soil damaging the environment at large and so on and so forth so while i am seeing the direct direct piece directly kia is doing all the right things people good uh, suppliers good uh, customers good local authority good everything is fine but if i really have another lens over it i may have to think of in terms of what all they are doing is it indirectly impacting anybody socially mentally emotionally and of course environmentally it may not be directly that they are doing something wrong but is it like that they are doing something indirectly that is wrong just because they are not considered in terms not considering what may go wrong that way or their way exact classical example you know and i can i can quote out an example from my own experience classical example is that you know we uh, so the companies that i have worked for one of it specifically said that we are only and only going to buy hand made products for gifting and those hand made products should be coming from orphanages now is it not something an extra mile in terms of displaying and demonstrating that you are a real responsible leader of the world who is not only thinking about the profits but also thinking about growing somebody who really needs that to happen that is what this responsible leadership is all about that you should be thinking a step ahead a step beyond in terms of thinking through that are you really doing what is supposed to happen by a responsible leader if answer is yes you are good gone is the time you know the things that i have mentioned on the top of it right gone is the time that i will only see the environment i'll only see local authority i'll only see customer i'll only see staff in terms of what you are doing no i'll be seeing what i'll be seeing what impact you are having in totality in terms of things that you are really doing really doing on the whole i may be doing you know electric vehicles you know let's say hybrid vehicles very good but the product that i am buying is being extracted out of a mineral resource that is just just i would say spoiling the environment for what sort of reason now while my end product is good but the way i am extracting the product for making that end product is not nice is not right i'm i'm just depleting my natural resources without ensuring that they are being they are being taken care of and so on and so forth have that in your mind my friend very important that you should understand what the real meaning of responsible leadership is is that clear yes sir moving on my friend i just wanted to give you some thoughts in terms of how can you act responsibly just to ensure that you're not missing on that and you know one thing i really want to mention that all of the content i've taken from the from the acc website that specifically you know is is being given in this technical article so you really you know if you really want to go through in detail you can refer that technical article but honestly after this this session there is no need to do that but because whatsoever is relevant we have taken up over here all right now some thoughts to act responsibly so you know the 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 same manufacturer should be considered more responsible if it took the following action let's go one by one what the action can be involving stakeholders in the decision made the more you involve your stakeholders in the decision made the more more open you are collective you are or collaborative you are the more responsible you are for example giving a workforce a choice about the overtime and ensuring that overtime work is not excessive why you will be paying you will be paying what they are working for but you have to ensure that it is not overly excessive in terms of work that they are doing that would destroy or or somewhat somewhere impact their personal health that is the angle that you need to have in your mind even if the rewards the workforce are good that's immaterial so that's what i was trying to say go beyond finances 
beyond the beyond the obvious my friend the more you go beyond the obvious you'll understand as to what this is all about moving on to the second one consider human and environmental impact when making the supply chain decision for example minimizing the use of materials such as rubble or leather you know wherever possible as these can have significant impact on the on the biodiversity or purchasing only for the from from the suppliers with the positive approach towards the human rights like what i said i'll buy from the people who are really taking good care of their people i'll buy from the orphanage and what not is that clear yes sir all right moving on my friend next one implementing end of life processes now, this is important especially you know for the car manufacturers or yacht manufacturers or you know industries who are completely into manufacturing you have to have the elv policy this could include recycling and remanufacturing of the old parts right for example computer industry mobile industry right you have to have the policy in terms of you know what would happen you know of these old mobiles or computers do you have the elv policy the end of the life policy in terms of what you would do or you would just destroy it and destroy the environment the more policies you would have the best you are from the standpoint of showing and demonstrating the responsible leadership is that clear yes sir behaving in a socially responsible manner what does that mean this could include diverse factors such as implementing environmental management schemes if it is possible or even providing protective clothing for the workers which has been purchased from ethical and sustainable resources whatsoever i'm reading out my friend you would realize it is just going a step beyond the obvious in terms of thinking through that what could have gone wrong and if we can correct this as an effective leader as a responsible leader we are there is that clear yes sir all right again some of the thoughts to act responsibly providing public value and addressing societal problem for example sponsoring university research programs into the development of safer and more energy efficient vehicle some of the examples i'm giving my friend just to you know have that in your mind as to how can you demonstrate the real real responsible leadership behavior you should know that you should know that some car manufacturer work for not for profit organization to provide vehicle for charitable use or support specific charities through events and fundraising activities organized by the manufacturer classical example i really want to call out from the being a bcg or you know bcg gives pro bono services you know free of cost services to many not for profit organizations or regulators also to help them in terms of you know catering to some of the modern or the real life challenges that they are facing it is more like consulting them for free because they are not charging them and of course advising them in terms of you know what they should be doing this is again an effort wherein the organization are really acting responsibly in terms of you know what they should be doing and how they should be doing is that clear yes sir developing a socially responsible culture throughout the organization company staff are encouraged to share the same values equity sustainability quality and active in, you know and acting in the best interest of society leader can show their commitment and the culture by introducing some volunteering programs and so on and so forth very generic my friends but at times you examine throws these things at you and the more you're aware of that more you know in terms of how you handle it the better it is for you is that clear yes sir now again some of the other thoughts that you need to have is always behaving ethically we know that sir let's read it out for example reporting vehicle emissions truthfully you should not run away from saying something wrong all right and accepting responsibility of any vehicle faults and dealing with re which with recalls is in a responsible and timely manner as well as standard business ethics such as paying fair taxes which benefits the society as a whole i think it is it goes without saying being ethical is the is the ask of every and any responsible leader we know that sir responsible leadership may be considered as an extension to the stakeholder theory we already discussed that but the business should focus not only on the stakeholders but on sustainability sustainability social responsibility and ethical behavior in addition to the financial objectives as i said go beyond finance my friend very important of course it is important that the tone is from the top the ceo and the board of directors thus paving the way to the managers at all levels to ensure that responsible leadership is being followed all across isn't that something very obvious my friend that you just know and just understand yes sir important is my friend that you should not miss on that you should always always be upfront with that is that clear yes sir now in the end my friend i just wanted to mention you some of the benefits we all understand this 
but I just want to call out benefit before I really move on to some of the tips that I have. How should you be handling that from the examination standpoint? You really need to know how the uh, responsible leaderships have, are helping organization to do well in the uh, in the world at large. All right, responsible leadership can be seen to bring benefits to the organization. For example, some organization and in cunt and even countries have introduced four working days now. You know, and it is really working well without implementing a pay cut for the workers. There is an you know evidence. Uh, of benefit to both the workers and the organization again just an example my friend i'm not saying that this would work for all of the organizations but we have seen seen evidence in terms of you know whatsoever has happened with these these countries and of course companies wherein for the workers there is a reduction in stress because you are only working for the four days and an improvement in the work-life balance some of the organization involved have find increase increased productivity also in terms of you know having a 40 percent kind of an increase in, in in terms of the overall productivity greater staff retention of course who would want to leave this kind of a job all right and satisfaction in the long term is surely surely there on the organizational side if i really want to talk on you know organization implementing also have benefit because they have also reported integrated reporting uh, you know and enhanced environmental ratings since you know, since they would be only working for the four days, they'll be having lower use of energy, reduction in the vehicles on road, and of course, less traffic, less wastage of fuel, and so on and so forth. And their ability to attract talent really goes up, which could lead to greater innovation on the whole. Now, if you really have to talk on, you know, in a layman language, and in a very general, general terms, we would not have thought of, you know, anytime you would hear in terms of, you know, that can we do four days working, now, being an employee, you would all you would love it. You know, you say, "Oh, yes, yes, four-day working. I'm, 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 I'm up for it. Please do it from the day one." But if I give you a position on the strategic business leader exam table, and a question may come your way that you have to decide that should you be doing four-day working or not, I can tell you, many of us, many of us would be against it. because as a strategic business leader, finance will work more in your mind. The cost benefit return would return, would return, you know, would work more in your mind rather than these soft factors or these environmental factors or sustainability factors. And we tend to write more on the negative side of it. I'm only trying to give you a perspective, my friend, that if you get to see a question in the exam, you have to be balanced in terms of what you would write. I'm not saying that you should disregard the cost or the revenue benefit. Always, always write that. That is the first thing to really pick on. But do not forget these important factors and do mention, you know, how these important factors can also help. The more balanced your answer is, the more balanced your approach is, the more aware your approach is in terms of, you know, how you're really thinking and how you're really explaining your mind in terms of, you know, how things may come or may go uh, the way the, the, they should be going. Examiner loves it and they love it if, you know, if, uh, they love each and every student who is able to explain and go beyond finances and able to explain these, these areas, these issues. And of course, they're able to, um, if student is able to appreciate beyond finance, examiner is super, super, super happy. And of course, you know, uh, you certainly get a very, very different level of marks in the exam. And I'm sure, you know, when you'll practice and you'll go and, and, and join a job, there also these factors are really, really counted because you really show a very different set of skills on the table. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I hope the responsible leadership as a concept you have taken and you have understood because it is important and relevant, my friend, that we are able to appreciate that in terms of you know how things are really changing in the industry. The more you'll understand that, the more you'll capture it, the best it is for you to really handle that in the exam. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, some of the tips, my friend, I have for you to really know, really know in terms of how one should be really catering to that in the exam. I think I've already discussed that when I'm discussing the benefit. I've already given you the tips in terms of how one should be thinking about. But I'm just giving you one thing that you should be thinking through while you're reading the question. You should always read the requirement of the question very clearly as to what it is saying. Spend some time understanding the stakeholders, direct, indirect, whosoever they can be understand that and then keep highlighting the situation that is related to sustainability you would like to mention now that can be direct that can be indirect 
but do do highlight the situation now it can be you know supplier situation it can be a situation environmental situation it can be a situation which you may not be doing directly but somebody else is doing that can have an impact on you for example you have a supplier who is not taking care of their people and so on and so forth so you should know that you know what one should be doing in that kind of a scenario that kind of things have to have in your mind you have to have in your mind to ensure that you're not missing on these important points all right just go beyond the financial profits you already spoken on that structure it and think of conclusion think of conclusion means and i would say have a balancing approach talk on finance talk on non finance close it and say if this is this then this will work if this is this then this will work examiner would feel that you know both the aspects and you're able to demonstrate and and give them the exact thing that they want and towards the end be very 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 responsible and professional my friend examiner loves it is that clear yes sir now this is the very recent recent technical article my friend and i'm ex really expecting something to really come your way down the line and it is important that we should have this at the back of our mind and we are able to demonstrate that to the examiner that this is what it is is that clear yes sir should we move on yes sir all right now this is something i wanted to cover my friend in this technical article i can tell you this technical article can be can be tested any time in the exam now because as i said this is the recent one and examiner loves to test the recent recent technical articles who knows if you get to see this in your next attempt important is that you should have this at the back of your mind and you're not missing on that is that clear yes sir i hope i hope you liked what was being discussed over here and i'm sure you would carry that in the in the exam you have to have to know my friend how a responsible leadership should be operating and of course demonstrating those skills is gonna be the most relevant thing in your exam do not miss on that if you like this video my friend do share it with all of your friends who are giving the svel exam now because the more they would know the more they can be aware with it, you know of this important is you know it is for them to really really know and have it have it killed in the exam the more they address this rightly the more marks they would get over there i'll see you my friend in the next one till then this pankaj dingra signing off mm -hmm.